So you came to the workshop, the back pain and sciatica workshop, and you didn't schedule. I just wanted to share a couple things with you because when that happens, I think there's something that I failed you on, either in terms of communicating importance or maybe you have something else going on in your life that you need to put this off. But I wanted to share with you a really important viewpoint today. What you did was you saw an ad, whether it was on Facebook, in the John's Creek Herald, or some other way, and you took action. You registered for the workshop and you showed up. You listened to me babble about back pain and sciatica. You probably saw me treat somebody. We went over the three big points, including the three common causes for back pain and sciatica. You filled out your worksheet and you didn't schedule. Now, you might be a provider and I know that frequently we will have physicians in the room or chiropractors or even other physical therapists. If that's the case, I get it. It makes sense that you wouldn't want to schedule. And if that's the case, just email me back and let me know that you're a provider and that's fine. Also, maybe I know that some people get upset that I don't have a chance because I usually hang around at the end and I'll answer questions one-on-one -on -one with people. Some people will get upset that I don't have time specifically just for them. And it puts me in a really tough spot because if I have a line of people and I'm working my way through or I'm trying to get everybody's questions answered, certainly I'm going to offend the person who's next or I'm going to offend the person who's waiting to have their question answered. I really tried and there's just not a better way for me to handle that. So if that happened to you, I apologize. But what happens is when we do have an appointment, you get a chance to have your questions answered one-on-one -on -one with a physical therapist who specializes in back pain and sciatica. Now, the other thing that can happen, and frequently we run into this, is recently I just had somebody who after four or five years, they saw me do a back pain and sciatica workshop like four or five years ago, they didn't schedule, and they finally came back in after having a series of injections, and they're kind of on the eve of getting surgery. They waited this long to take care of their back pain and sciatica, and I wanted to show you what happens for most people. I don't think I did this in the workshop for you, so here it is. But basically, if we take a look of all the activities that you do, the day-to-day -day things that you used to do that maybe no longer do, maybe it's yard work, lifting, running, aggressive or rigorous activities, they're on the outside, kind of like the high level stuff. Real easy stuff like sitting or sleeping, <clears throat> those are on the inside. And here's what can happen. And that is what happened to this gentleman that came back after four or five years. When we have things like that, what we'll do most of the time is we ignore it. Again, you were at the workshop, so you know there's three things that we can do to handle a problem in life. We can ignore it, and in almost every case, we ignore a problem. And when we ignore a problem, it gets worse. We can try to alter it, or we can try to change it, or we can actually handle it. Now, the free screening is a free exam for you to find out exactly what it is that you need to do to handle your back pain and sciatica. You can get down to the source of the true problem. And what happens is naturally if something hurts every time that you're running or doing yard work or housework, you're probably less likely to do, it, to do it, right? So what happens is when those things bother you, we eliminate them. And then we get to the point where if we stand more than 15 minutes or we walk, well, eventually what happens is we lose that too. So what we are doing, and you can see that really, really quickly, what can happen over a few months or even over a few years is if we don't handle the cause of the problem, we get ourselves where we are boxed in and we can only do a few things and we're kind of missing out on life. We might feel embarrassed that we have to rely on neighbors or friends or family members to help us do certain things like go grocery shopping or maybe drive us somewhere or something like that. Even at a relatively young age, we can feel like we're losing a little bit of our independence and it can be very embarrassing. And this is what happens most of the time and I don't want that to happen for you. So once again, I will offer you, and I know I said I would only do this on the day of the workshop, but if you want the free exam, which is an appointment with one of our physical therapists who specialize in back pain and sciatica, just reply back to this email and let me know, and we'll make sure that we get that taken care of for you. We'll schedule you a free screening. Again, it's a 20 minute free exam. You get to see a physical therapist who specializes in back pain and sciatica. And at the end of the 20 minutes, you're gonna know exactly what the cause of your back pain and sciatica is and whether or not physical therapy and conservative treatment or natural treatment is something that can help you out and what that plan looks like. Now, there's absolutely no obligation. You don't have to schedule anything else after that or anything like that. It's just our way of helping you and get a really good grasp of what you have going on 
and what you need to do to handle it. So if you don't mind, if you could reply back to this email and let me know where you're at and we'll get you set up with that free exam.